Hi, BB fans! So great to recap with you on this Monday afternoon. So basically, I wanted to touch base with you about everything that has been leading up to our Sunday episode, which in my opinion was not that epic. You know, I feel like they're trying to sell Jackson's game and sell Holly's game in a hope that we will like buy the likes of Jackson and Holly and no, the only part that I actually enjoyed was hearing Nicole's journey, and that's it. Plain and simple. What do you guys think? But let's start off with, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button, and thank you so much for subscribing if you already have. If you're subscribing right now, you're a rock star. <laughs> and also, too, don't forget to tell your friends. We are going to be recapping The Masked Singer, Supernatural, and The Walking Dead. Supernatural airs October 10th and The Walking Dead October 6th and The Masked Singer this week. I believe it's Wednesday. This is Sean's favorite show. So that's the one that we're going to do with Sean specifically. Okay, back to BB. So I'm going to just recap a little bit with Cliff and then we're going to move on. So I felt like when Cliff was talking up there right before he got evicted and he was chatting with Jackson, he was trying to basically paint a picture for Jackson and I spoke to you guys about this prior in my last recap, just the two of us or three of us or four or however many you're watching. I felt like he was painting a picture for Jackson and just basically letting him know you know, where he is and where Jackson is in the eyes of all of the other players. Now, he can't speak for others, but I do think that some jury members, you know, kind of the way that um, Cliff was portraying it, was letting Jackson have the opportunity to think it through about what some of these jurors are going to be thinking about him here in the end and how many of them he has basically rubbed the wrong way. And... Hence, our Sunday episode where Jackson was explaining all the different people <laughs> that he has done wrong and or rubbed the wrong way. So, you know, unfortunately, in the end, the players that were set up allowed Jackson to win this game. And that's what we're going to be talking about right here. It's very, very frustrating. However, the only win that we actually have here is that Jackson will be able to go back and look at everything we've all said if he wants to. And because it's so important to him, I'm pretty sure he'll do some research. He'll do his study and he'll see what America truly does think of him, whether he wins the money or not. And honestly, no money, in my opinion, can measure up to a reputation that you have presented for yourself, especially when you go on television. Yeah, so, but Jackson's argument to Cliff was that um, they got rid, they wanted to like contemplate keeping Tommy, but guess what? Hey Jackson, they didn't though. Even though they were thinking about it and that they were honest about it and kind of like blurted it out, which they clearly shouldn't have done, bad gameplay on Nicole and Cliff's part, but they didn't though. They did it. They still kept Holly. And the two of you are at the end here. The two of you are at the end. So I just, that that's a moot point in my opinion. But I feel like, you know, with, you know, it's neither here nor there because it shoulda, coulda, woulda, but it wouldn't have been beautiful if, you know, Cliff and Nicole would have blindsided Holly. That would have been the most beautiful situation on the planet. And I think the two of them will be beating themselves up for a little while uh, because they didn't do that. I don't think one of the points that Cliff made was that Holly would be speaking Jackson's praises at the very, very end if you know he would have kept Cliff and let Holly go home but I don't think so I think Holly would have been extremely bitter so what I thought was really cool what Cliff did was that he really put Jackson like I said before he stronghold him and I feel like that was kind of neat to watch because it was like what you gonna do if you take me out yo people are gonna be pissed if you take Holly out Holly's gonna be pissed even more pissed and you don't want a pissed off Holly you know what I'm saying or a pissed off girlfriend which would end up being your ex-girlfriend so that's kind of what I liked because no matter which way Jackson went he would have been wrong 
and that was what was cool. I loved it. I like, like, I just love that little moment because that's the only moment that I get because I really feel obviously Jax is going to win this. And so I guess I can relish in that moment. While we're talking about Jackson, we might as well talk about Holly. As of recent, you know, if you're watching the live feeds, if you haven't been watching the live feeds, Holly has been talking about Nicole in a negative light, you know, here and there. And she's trying to throw out the bully card. She's one of those people. Now, and, and it's frustrating to me because, you know, nowadays, in my opinion, people are throwing out this bully card like it's just, like, water. <laughs> And it doesn't apply. It doesn't apply to Nicole even in the slightest bit. It absolutely does not apply. Yet Holly wants to sit there and say that Nicole is being a bully here up in the end. And I don't know if this is one of those moments where she doesn't know where to cast blame. So she might as well just give it to Nicole. Nicole is one of the most upstanding individuals I have seen on Big Brother. I absolutely adore this girl. In the midst of like the most worst cast on the planet, she has made it this far and she should celebrate that to the extreme to the extreme she has been dealt a rancid card she's fully not bullying we all know it and it's sad to see holly do that because nicole is her own worst enemy and i don't know if holly senses that and she just wants to like be a bully herself I have no idea, but that is one thing I know for sure, and we all know that Nicole is not a bully. If anyone's a bully, it's definitely Jackson and Holly, and many of the other cast members that we have seen go home and are in the jury house. One of the things that disgusts me about Holly is that when she gets to the final two here, she's totally okay with Jackson winning. It's disturbing to me that a woman would let a man basically bully her, stomp on her, and make her feel like she's less than, and be okay just standing there at the end, the two of them, and letting him win. I, I feel like what Holly's gonna go home with is she's gonna go home with a bad reputation. I wrote this down because it's, it's frustrating to me. Um, her, herself having a dirty time um, doing the dirty, with Jackson many, 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 many times where we all saw she's going to realize that, hello, because you didn't pay attention to Big Brother before you entered the house, you don't realize that those live feeds are everything. They have done you a disservice. You have done yourself a disservice by not paying attention. You're not paying attention, woman. So now you're going to be on this thing called Pornhub. I said, Wait, really? So she's going to realize this stuff and I think that is going to be a a really difficult thing for her and guess who is responsible for that? Not only herself but Jackson because she's going to realize that she had a dude in her life that didn't care about that. He didn't care about her reputation. Therefore, in the end, you're not going to win the money and you're not going to win the dude because the dude is a piece of S-H-I-T with 50,000 exclamation parts on there. I can't say my words ever. <laughs> with 50,000 exclamation points added to that. Moving on. I'm going to hit a spoiler here, you guys. Um, we saw on Sunday's episode that Jackson won the HOH. Shocker. Okay. So, now the second part of the game is that Nicole and Holly face off. So click off now if you absolutely do not want to hear what I have to say. One, two, three, here I go. Guess what? Holly won. Nicole did not. So here we are faced with, I don't know, I feel like another Game of Thrones episode where Jamie Lannister and Cersei are at the end and they don't get what they deserve. Except a bunch of freaking stones landing on the damn head. Ugh! Okay. <laughs> but let's 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 harp on Nicole. So let's put a little light into this universe. I love this girl. She is more of a woman than Holly could ever be. One thousand percent. Um age is not it age is just a number. 
And that's how I feel about it. And I'm sticking to it. Okay. Um, I love that if you guys are watching the live feeds, if you haven't been watching the live feeds, leading up to Cliff's eviction, Nicole had a conversation with Holly and Jackson. And she legitimately called them both out on being martyrs. And that was epic of proportions. It made my whole BB experience. I truly loved it. This little girl has pegged them socially. She has an amazing head on her shoulders. I know she has a great future. Whether she wins this game or not, which chances are, as we all know now, with this outcome, Nicole has a very slim chance. So I hope and I pray to Jesus that she has many opportunities leading up to her future because she definitely deserves it. But she called them out on being martyrs. I feel like she truly finds Jackson to be the biggest hypocrite on the planet. And I just feel like, you know, please, you guys, please remember how Jackson bullied and Holly actually bullied Nicole back all the way at the beginning. Don't buy the BS. Nicole's the only person in this house who has not bought any of this BS. And she truly is the hero in this game. And she's unfortunately not going to win. She hopefully will win America's Favorite Foe. Y'all better be voting for Nicole. Okay, I really think that she needs to. And I know that Kemi went through a lot, but Nicole stayed in the game the longest and she had to deal with so much more so much more so much more um yeah that's basically all I have to say and the last thing I wanted to say about Nicole and Cliff together is Cliff I adore you I really really do but the biggest thing that I think frustrated me about your gameplay other than the fact that you completely were blinded by Jackson was that you were drowning in this game towards the end because of that and you drug Nicole with you. It's almost like you were drowning and grabbed her leg and pulled her down with you. That's not cool. That's not cool. Okay. Um, it's one thing to mess up your own game, but I just feel like Nicole was just kind of like, like I said before, how do you deal with stupid? How do you do a stupid? And then lastly, we're gonna finish up with, ew. <clears throat> Biggest fart in the planet, <laughs> Jackson. Um, at the end here, I really wanted Jackson to be accountable for all of his BS. And I know that I'm not alone here when I say that like seeing him win this game is going to be equivalent to Freddy Krueger taking his knives and scratching them across the dang chalkboard. No! No one's going to want to see this. So, Big Brother, would you do us all a favor and please take some, like, real time in choosing your castmates? For real. I'm, I'm not even kidding. I'm sick and tired of watching people who want to be celebrities on this show. In the past, there might have been one or two that were all about that vibe. This time, there's like almost all of the cast members except for like maybe one or two, like Cliff and Nicole. And kudos to the two of them for making it as far as they did. You know, there were times where I, I do sometimes feel like Cliff wanted to be a little bit of like a podcaster type person, but whatever, who cares? Listen, Jackson and Holly have made it very, very clear that they're in it for the fame and they're in it for the money, and it is gross, it is foul, it is disgusting, it is hard to watch. Last night, I just, I don't even want to see their faces. I don't. I can't even imagine what it is like for Nicole to have to live in that house with the two of them. Oh my gosh. And even... Julie called it out, her worst nightmare. Forget the birds. Birds are nothing compared to living in a house with the likes of Holly and Jackson. And no one's going to want to watch this. Big Brother casting. No one wants to watch this. And I think that, you know, as much as we dislike Jackson, the problem is not really actually Jackson. I and mean, he's a huge problem. But the biggest problem is casting. I don't. We don't. I feel strongly. Please back me up here. I feel strongly in saying that, like, we don't want to see 
people who don't know anything about Big Brother being on this show. We don't. I want to see past cast members together playing and battling it out or like a full cast of people who love Big Brother fans. Can we please do that? Because I can't watch it. At this point right now, I cannot watch. I'm going to watch because I'm loyal. I'm actually loyal. Because I do want to see who wins America's Favorite. And I actually hope it's Nicole or anyone other than obviously Holly and Jackson, which I know it won't be. But please, do a, do a service to your fans and start actually doing your job with casting. And I'm going to call that out because that's the problem. That's the problem. And I feel very serious about this. I have been watching since day one. Day one. Day one. And this is gross. Foul. Out of control. Why would you ruin a good thing? Why? And I, I have a feeling. I have a feeling that the actual people who are working at Big Brother, who are doing these videos, who are doing the cutting and all that stuff, who are working behind the scenes, don't like Jackson either. And they truly don't want him to win. But guess what? When you choose people that don't understand how the game works, this is what you get. So here we are at the very end, and I just want to leave you guys, while I got on my little soapbox of irritation, I'm going to sit here and say a few things that I think are funny um, in my opinion about Jackson and his mama situation. So remember before when I told you that I feel like Jackson reminds me of like Norman Bates? Well, whenever they do their cuts anyway, he talks about mama. So I just wanted to tell you a, a couple of funny quotes that are from actually Norman Bates. So he says, a boy's best friend is his mother. I think I must have one of those faces you can't help believing. And on a side note, one of the things that I feared before I knew that Holly and Jackson were going to be at the end was that Jackson's words, all of his metaphors, all of his little phrases that he likes to throw out to people that don't have a clue in life would believe what he's actually saying. How uh, interesting is that? <laughs> right? It makes sense. Um, another Norman Bates quote, we all go a little mad sometimes. And one of my thoughts were, another Norman Bates quote, mother isn't quite herself today. So whenever Jackson has one of his Jekyll and Hyde moments, he can say, mother isn't quite herself today. And I want to let you know that they showed those little videos, you know, from their family. And Jackson was very upset about it. And apparently it was very obvious on the live feeds that he was having a little bit of a perturbed moment about it because he thought Mama wasn't very happy with him. Well, on BB, you can take it out on the competition. In real life, he'll probably take it out on Holly. So, I'm going to end with that. This Big Brother season sucks royally. And that's a wrap. I'll see you guys basically at the end of this finale. Make sure you check in with both myself and Sean. Tuesday night, we're going to post our episode where we talk about what we originally thought of these cast members and what we think now. And then towards the end, we're also gonna do some of our little bloopers. So hopefully you guys still stay tuned. Don't forget to share this with your friends. Don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe and uh, we will see you soon. Bye-bye guys.